so we'll take the worst case delays of each and every gate which is present in the combinational logic and then calculate the maximum delay okay this first part second what we and, and finally eventually this signal reaches at this point with with a rising edge hmm? next what we'll do is we'll take the we'll, we'll take the same signal and identify that section on the silicon which has got the minimum delay and we'll compute that so minimum delay basically says the minimum impact of the on the delay because of the process variation so basically max delays are generally used for setup setup timing uh, uh, checks and min delay are generally used for hold timing checks so that's why both are important so there is the range of delay variation this is the minimum delay variation and this is the maximum delay variation so it's so if you are if you are do the analysis at min delay and max delay things are pretty simple because now we know that the delay variation due to the the, the delay changes due to the process variation will be in this range it, it will be minimum delay will be this much and maximum delay will be this much so if we try to do an analysis based on this then then the analysis is basically a conservative analysis